Hello again, and welcome to the Angry Cook. A um, couple of things. I forgot to record the intro to this. Uh, I was going to try something really new and exciting this time. But naturally, I forgot it. Uh, it wouldn't be a video if I wasn't forgetting shit everywhere, was it? would it? Um, second thing is, uh, there'll be a new logo coming out featuring Jay Monster for uh, the Angry Cook. Um, I've seen a preview of it, uh, and I'm very excited about it. It looks awesome. It's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I think you'll like it also. Uh, Jade likes it. Um, anyway, today's video is Sunday dinner. We had a uh, tradition in my family when my, and I say a lot of this crap in the video, so you can pretty much forget it. Just fast forward. Um, my youngest brother, who is deceased now, uh, used to love when we had chicken, roast chicken, and potatoes, and just the kind of things you think about what a Sunday dinner is all about. And uh, this is kind of a tribute to Chris, and um, Sunday dinner at my daughter's house, uh, and I think you'll enjoy it. It was fun, and the chicken was awesome. And the chicken carcass will go to yet another batch of uh, chicken something soup. My wife wants me to do chicken noodle, or chicken corn, or chicken something. We'll get to that. Anyway, that may or may not be a video. Uh, I've been invited to another guest kitchen, which will be occurring probably October, November sometime. Um, there's just way too much crap going on right now. Uh, it's far, far away. In the galaxy far, far away. No, it's not uh, not Papiente uh, uh, Tahiti then. I wish it was. Um, it's in uh, Maryland along the Potomac River, um, and we'll get some nice views. So uh, I'm coming up with a menu for that. This, this is going to be more than one person, I think, from what I understand. Uh, some family, some not. So I'm excited about that, if I can get my brain going about a menu, um, and we'll see. So uh, enjoy Sunday dinner. We did. And our list of ingredients for uh, our two-parter is, uh, for Sunday dinner, is of course a whole roaster chicken. It's a big one too, it's about seven and a half pounds. We have, to go underneath it, we have three carrots, six potatoes, and that varies in size, so that'll vary in quantity. A sprig of rosemary for the cavity, along with a little butter. A couple of onions for underneath. Three cloves of garlic, whole, for underneath. And we're also going to have fresh wax beans off the farm yesterday. And uh, better than bouillon to augment the gravy if we need to. It's not necessarily a, uh, it's not a necessary thing, but it's a possibility. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to get this bad boy out of its plastic cell and uh, get all the guts out of it, which we're going to boil down, um, not boil down totally, but put in a, a pot and simmer for a while as uh, liquid for our gravy, um, and we're going to pat it dry, and uh, we're going to let it dry out a little bit more, um, the, and then uh, before we put it in the oven, and you'll see this, we're going to uh, put uh, olive oil all over it, and then salt and pepper. And hopefully we'll have a really crispy little sucker. So we'll, we'll talk to you in a while. Thank you. All right, we got it out of the container. These things are worthless. We're not using it. This stuff is prime stuff. Check out all the cavities. There shouldn't be anything in that. That's basically turkey that has that. Look around for pin feathers because they're doing a terrible job lately picking all the pin feathers off. And this is really, really soaking wet. I mean, soaking wet. So uh, we're going to do something about that. And we're going to clean this. See what I'm talking about, pin feathers? Look at that crap. So we're going to dry it. 
Don't forget the all the cavities. And this has just water laying all over it. So you know it was frozen at one time, probably in shipment or in the, from the factory in Maryland or Delaware. I think they're all produce all Maryland, I think. Um, to here, so you know it was frozen. I gotta get more paper towels. Stand by. Alright, more paper towels. So we continue the drying process and that includes the cavity. Excess moisture leads to bad chicken. Or not bad chicken. I mean chicken's always good, it's just not as crispy as we want it. Pin feathers everywhere. No, I've never plucked a chicken. No, I don't want to ever pluck a chicken. How much chicken could a chicken plucker pluck if a chicken plucker could pluck chicken? I don't know. Take some crapiola off too while we're drying. Remember when you're done, don't touch anything that you're not going to clean right away because you've got chicken fingers. And because you have chicken fingers means you could have salmonella on those chicken fingers. The chances are you don't. But safe, better be safe than sorry, right? Especially this time. Last thing we need is chicken plucker fingers. Chicken plucker. What the hell am I doing? And we continue to dry, dry, dry. We're leaving this out uh, for about an hour. Uh, first of all, to bring the meat up to uh, close to the room temperature so it cooks faster. Uh, that applies to all meat, by the way, half an hour. Um, I was going to spatchcock this bad boy, but Tara had an objection to spatchcocking, and I won't tell you what she calls it, bitchcock. Uh, but, uh, so I'm not going to do it that way. We're just going to leave this up here. And this keeps getting wet because that's wet, so we're going to get a plate. dry surface to keep this on and we can clean this up too by the way. So we're probably gonna repack this at the end before we put it in the oven. Um, if I had a fan here I'd throw a little fan across it uh, just to get some air circulation. Yeah it's not important. Um, you can get along without it uh, without any of this stuff but it makes a better chicken when it's dry. Honest to God. So we're going to do the chicken in probably this episode, and I think what we're going to do in the next episode uh, is all the adjuncts, which are going to be what's over here, um, basically uh, root vegetables for all intents and purposes, uh, roasted root vegetables in the chicken fat, which will be in the bottom, uh, the gravy and the wax beans, and throw it all together and show it to you. So. Uh, Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in uh, about an hour. Okay, so we're about an hour and a half later. Um, we have some peeling to be done. We're going to do our potatoes. We're going to wash our potatoes. We're going to wash our carrots. Uh, and we're going to peel them. White chia. And um, be back in a minute after I wash this stuff. All right, so uh, we all washed it up. We're going to peel the potatoes. We're not going to peel the carrots, as I've said in previous videos. We don't peel things like that because there's nutrients in the skin, and you want everything you can get. So when I'm done and getting ready to cut, we will uh, come back. I absolutely hate peeling potatoes and things. Absolutely. Okay, so we're all peeled away. Now we're going to cut these into a really heavy, uh, probably not a dice, but I think something like this. I think. So they're all like the same size as what you're looking for. And they're not too small because it's going to be in a, the oven for three hours and some. But uh, 
You want it to get nice and crispy, and um, you want them to be able to soak up that, oh man, allergy season. Uh, want them to soak up all that good uh, chicken juice and fat, so they taste good. So, uh, pleasure to eat. I've tried it a couple times, never quite as good, of course, it never would be. Um, summer times, grab and pop, retired, or didn't retire basically, uh, well, kind of retired, uh, to a lake in New Jersey, and we'd go out there on hot summer days, and Graham would have fried chicken sitting there, and she would have uh, a cucumber, onion, salad, and vinegar, and sugar, which was my absolute freaking favorite in the world. Um, tomatoes and uh, tomatoes and onions and some type of saucy thing with some herbs. I think it was. Remember, this is a simple woman. This wasn't uh, a pate de foie gras on the kitchen on the dining room table. But I'm telling you. Maybe Dad learned to cook that way. I don't know, but it was uh, it was something special. So we're gonna quarter. Oh, I might do more than that. Goddamn giant! Jesus! I can't wait to get home so I can go. To, ooh, back to Acme and buy decent goddamn food instead of this shit from Acme, from uh, Giant. No, I don't want another one. God, I hate this crap. I hate cutting into something that you spend good money on and what you get is a bunch of shit. The basic thing we're doing here is we're building a, uh, a rack out of the vegetables, in addition to uh, cooking them really nicely. Um, so, oh my god, it's a good onion for a change from a from, uh, giant. Well, wonders never goddamn cease. See ya, partner. I'm being abandoned. We're all going to the park without me. I'm not going to mince them or anything because I just want to get some of the essence out of them. If you need anything, we both have our phones. I need food not to be bought a giant. That's what I need. Well. I'll edit that out too. I made enough rants about giant. So we're going to put those in various places throughout. I'm just cutting the, uh, cutting the little stem end off there. Uh, you don't really need that on. It helps get some of the paper off without crushing it, without crushing the uh, clove. This one's going to be an obnoxious son of a bitch. Anyhow, talking about my grandparents, they were, they were fun people. Both sets of grandparents were awesome. Um, And I, uh, I learned a lot. I was driving my grandfather's car down in a couple of more wipes of that. And we're about ready to 
season it. We're going to put cut that rosemary in half. That's fresh picked outside my daughter's place, and uh, I think that's about good. So we're going to next up. We're going to oil the skin. I like to oil and then put the seasonings on. Uh, I think you tend to rub them off. That's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably. I usually am. Um, but this is the way I like to do it anyway. So, Gordon, if you see me, or Elton, and I'm doing it wrong, Gordon, don't swear at me. Elton, you can if you want. Whatever. Anyhow, so we got that. And now, we're going to take our rosemary. And we're going to cut that in half. Fragrant. <laughs> that smells so good. I'm going to put some salt in there. Always put season your cavity. There's a joke in there too I'm not going to go into. And then lightly salt and pepper. I was going to use lemon pepper but I can't find it again. That's what happens when you're not in your own kitchen and things aren't where you put them. Things are all over the place. Whoa! A little heavy on the pepper, but that's alright. We just rub it around. Get the drumstick. Get inside the little bastard. Get the bottom. Yuck. Remember, wash your hands after you're done touching the chicken. Sam Onella has no place here. So, we're going to tuck the wings under. We're going to tuck the wings under. We're going to tuck the wings under. You little bastard. And we're going to watch your glasses fall down your face so you can't see anything now because you have your reading glasses which you just splurge off right there. Taking that little hunk of fat that you always find right there. And throw the legs in here. Uh, okay. There we go. We set it on our roaster pan and it just fits. This is seven pounds, 7.4 pounds. Estimated Three and a half hours, so we're going to go in and uh, three and a half hours we're going to check the temperatures. Um, our oven of course has not been started because I'm an idiot. So we'll do rapid preheat this time. Rapid preheat. Start. And there we go. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes when we're preheated and uh, ready to go. And what have I been doing while I'm waiting for the oven to preheat? Clean my area, washed the chicken touching utensils, put the rest of it in the dishwasher, um, and watching the gauge on the thing going, remember, wash your hands. Always wash your hands. Never let things that have touched chicken touch anything else. That's why I did the vegetables first and then used the knife on the chicken because that was the last thing and I didn't worry about it. What I'm going to do, and I almost forgot to do, is I'm going to put some salt and pepper on the veggies, which I should have done before I uh, put the turkey, chicken, chicken, not turkey, on. But I think I've got enough on the chick itself that uh, it'll be okay. And um, we're going to flavor the gravy anyway, so always check for seasoning. So we're uh, we're in good shape and we're just hanging right now for another 140 degrees. Okay, the uh, oven's ready. We're ready. Chicken's ready. Let's get this bat with Maybe not. All right, I heard you the first time. Let's move this bat a little bit. Just a minute. Yeah, plenty of room. Be there. In the middle. And there we go. Three and a half hours. Okay, Google. 
Set alarm, three and a half hours. Okay, uh, we'll be checking in a couple of times, two or three times between then, but uh, I just want to make sure I don't forget it. So um, we'll see you in an hour or two, or three or four, whatever it takes. And uh, Sunday lunch, dinner, breakfast, thing. See ya.